is late in the second era, a time of war, as the empire of Tiber Septim sweeps through the kingdoms of Tambrio in a glorious bid for conquest. Septim is opposed on all sides, but never more fiercely than by Hammerfell, the ancestral home of the Red Gods. The High King of Hammerfell, Thassard II, resists the Imperial invasions even as he sees other kingdoms crumble. Until at last, without warning and surprisingly devoid of court treachery, death takes its full measure. With its High King dead, Hammerfell is crippled, plunging into a bloody civil war between the crowns, fighting for their homeland's continued sovereignty, and the forebears, who have finally accepted the Emperor's rule. The crowns, led by the heir to Facade, Prince Ator, are continually victorious, spilling the blood of the forebears across Hammerfell's sands. From his seat of power in the port city of Strosmakai, Prince Ator slowly reunites his father's unraveled kingdom. Feeling their impending defeat, the forebears sign a pact with the Emperor, allowing him to bring his armies in crush the crowns, and rule Hammerfell as his own. Tiber Septim's armies prove too much for the proud Red God crowns. Tiber Septim sends his best commander, Lord Richton, to Stros Mackay to close the grip on Prince Ator and the crowns. The prince rallies his forces for one last stand. Knowing that Hammerfell's sovereignty is at stake, the crown forces match the might of the Empire, meeting them in the harbor of Strosmakai for the final battle. The fighting is fierce. Lord Richton, having seen the Prince's victories at sea before, decides to bring his last resource to the fore. The dragon, Nathalilagos, proud jewel of the Imperial Crown. Ator commands his archers to ready their weapons but is struck down himself by Richton's assassin, felled by an arrow whose poison spreads too fast. A Tor's wizard attempts to save the prince, but the dragon ends his magic and the crown's hope for victory in a single fiery breath. Having conquered the crowns, the emperor's forces claim rule over all of Hammerfell. Imperial garrisons are stationed at every city, and Richton himself is named Provisional Governor of Stros Mackay. Months pass. The Red Guards of Hammerfell, both Crown and Forbear, learn to live under the new Imperial rule, and Tiber Septim extends his reach into the rest of Tamriel. It is only through fate that any of this will come to concern our hero, Cyrus, a Red Guard who long ago left Hammerfell to wander the borderlands of the Empire. Krimia Cyrus, et over wakets or okodor. Let's make this short, Sarathra. I've got work to do. Balizia hatarata tami. Sicho. I leave with Duardine's men in an hour. Renrigi in tnor. Oko o imperio ja. Eko po fam rotot velk. You should know you got me the job. Um. Trajir. Sratra kol kotero to Hammerfell. Boshe in rot. The seal is broken. Sratra warrega. Yeah, I bet you were. No kodwadin. Sratra X. Sratra X Kail. Izara. Rolita dek kaudor. I need a ship. To board the koi srathra nakovek warabarashi. Money too. Sri dwadin ja epako ja srik. Pur srathra kado a little beko. We haven't spoken in ten years. There was trouble. Kakadar. I killed her husband. Hammerfell's prodigal son, Cyrus, returns to the province of his birth. He buys passage to the island of Strosmakai in the hopes of rescuing his sister, Izara. Below is 
what the pilot said to the wet head needs before him. The Restless League is claiming this cargo, said the other with cruel, cruel clarity. Probably wouldn't make a difference if I told you I had no time for this. This is about Red Guard armor, boy. Stand aside. Yes, a doubtful notion it is. Piracy and politics. But there you have it. Never been much for politics. In my day, piracy was honest work. Don't be a hero, boy. Where's the money in that? And yea, verily, by his bravery, they were impressed for a scant few seconds. You're rusty, move over. You're rusty, move over. You're rusty, my turn. You really should have. Uh, not the good to that thing, I No! My turn. A big hit, but it won't. You're too damn very well, but a laugh. Small cut. Yeah. Let me show the your turn. He thinks to himself. No! He thinks to himself. I'm over Mac. Cyrus! Uh, Captain, good to see you back in command. Ah, please call me Brennan. You disposed of those ruffians so quickly, I had no time to retrieve my sword from my cabin. Not so, hmm? Look, over there! Let us move on before more show up. I hope this letter finds your hands, friend. My latest travels have brought me to Stross Mackay, and no one here has seen your sister for three months. I fear the worst. I feel obligated to stay for a few weeks. I'll be at the Dragon Tail Inn should you return. Tobias. Ahoy there, sailor. Can I have a word with you? Greetings, stranger. What can I do for you, friend? Uh, the question is, what can I do for you? The young stranger in town, fearless, footloose, and fancy-free, a little light of purse, perhaps? I have a proposition that may appeal, but first allow me to introduce myself. Katero, contractor of Stross Mackay, at your service. Cyrus. Charmed. I'm supposed to meet a friend at the Dragon Tail. Can you direct me? It's the only watering hole in town. Follow the ramps uphill to the town square. Bit of friendly advice? Watch your step. The forebears are a touchy lot these days. I haven't been in Hammerfell since before the war. How do you like being a citizen of the Empire? Sure beats war, my young friend. I won't lie to you, though. Hard to find honest labor these days. Four bears would rather smirk than lift, and the crowns don't have the back for it anymore. Sounds like the crowns are taking their defeat pretty hard. Yeah, I've always stayed out of politics. Bad for business. Crown, four bear, I don't care. As long as their coin is true. My philosophy is what's done is done. Live and let live. The grass is always greener, you know. 
I guess the forebears are still savoring victory in the Civil War, eh? Yeah, you could say that, although you might not want to say it in their faces. They're a touchy lot these days. I've been up north for years, but I was pretty sure the forebears won the war. Of course they did. And the forebears like to bust up the dragon tail just in case anyone doubts it. Some ungenerous crowns like to point out the Imperial flags flying all over the palace and the Imperial soldiers patrolling the streets. None of my concern, though, haha, <laughs> you know what I mean? I wonder if you know my sister, Izara. I've come to Stros Mackay to find out what's happened to her. I'm afraid I don't know her. I'm just a simple working man. You might try Drikius up at the Dragon Tail. Pretty much everyone in Stros Mackay passes through his door eventually. What do you know about a group of ruffians calling themselves the Restless League? Damn them and their bloody-minded ways. They've done more to ruin Stros Mackay than the Four Bears and Empire combined. Hey, if it weren't for them, this city would have been at peace months ago. How is the Restless League responsible for ruining Stros Mackay? Burning or plundering half the cargoes headed for this port, stirring up the Imperials to ever more ruthless repression. The League doesn't seem to realize that the war is over. And they lost. You're saying the League was allied with the Crowns? That depends on who you ask. I don't know. I'm not one of your political gentlemen, always in someone else's business. I'm just a poor working stiff. A uh, bird in the hand is better, you know what they say. <laughs> Three kids? A friendly local lizard. Not that I have anything against him. Or her, or whatever. Can't ever tell what those Argonians runs the Dragon Tail, the tavern on the town square. You call yourself a contractor. What does that mean? Over here we have someone who needs something done. Over there we have someone who's looking for work. How do they find each other? That's where I come in. Tell me about this job you have for me. A simple task. Pick up an amulet from the Gasta and deliver it to the governor's palace. Now, to be honest, I've been having trouble finding someone to take the job. But I'm sure a robust lad such as yourself pays no attention to silly local superstitions. Are you interested? Sure. I'll take the job. Splendid. Here's your hundred gold. I'll have the rest for you after you deliver the amulet to the governor. Uh, well, I'm sure you won't have any trouble, but, uh... You probably want to do this during the daylight. Refresh my memory about this job. A simple task. Pick up an amulet from the Gasta and deliver it to the governor's palace. The Gasta? Eh, a harmless old hermit. The more superstitious of my fellow citizens repeat silly rumors about him. But I put no stock in their tails. He lives in the old wizard's tower. Just follow the shoals on the northwest side of the island. Any idea what's so important about this amulet? That's between the guest and the governor. I just get paid to find a delivery man. How much are you offering for this job? Like I said, I've been having trouble hiring for this job, so I'm upping the rate a bit. 100 up front, and 200 more after completion. That's pretty high for a simple delivery. What's the catch? The pay's proportional to the danger. Nagasta's tower isn't exactly on the main road, you know? So you may have a little trouble getting there. Nothing that you can't handle, I'm sure. Where can I find the governor's palace? Straight at the top of the hill. You can't miss it. The grandest structure in Stross Mackay, maybe in all of Hammerfell. Quite the tourist attraction before the late unpleasantness. What superstitions do the locals harbor about this Nagasta? Oh, you know, they call him a necromancer, prattle about him stealing people's souls, armies of undead, you know, that sort of thing. Nothing a well-armed fellow like yourself would worry about. We'll talk later.
black. What's this? This should help. Hello, sir. Sir? Sir, could I speak to you for a moment? Who's there? What do you want? My name is Cyrus. I'd like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. Mind? Why would I mind? I'm Pernell, by the way. Ask away, my boy. Do you know my sister? Iz Izara. Izara. Izara? And you're Cyrus, her brother? Of course. Probably looked just like her, too. Who had have seen the family resemblance? But without my eyepiece, I'm afraid I can't get too good a look at you. You know, I haven't seen a czar around in quite some time. Have you heard of a group called the Restless League? My ship was attacked by a couple of them on the way here. That was you? I saw the whole thing through my telescope, you know. Not much of a battle, though. Ha! <laughs> you really gave those ruffians what for? Wait a minute. Maybe the Restless League is after you, too. I wonder what Izara could have done to get them so riled up. Two? Do you mean the Restless League is after my sister? Why didn't you say so before? You never said she was missing, Cyrus. This was months ago anyway, and my memory ain't what it used to be. As I was saying, a couple of them boys came around asking about her, but not respectful like you. Gave me the hairy eyeball, trying to scare an old man. Don't believe anyone has the right to talk to me like that. No wonder they have such a bad reputation. How does the city fare with the Imperials in charge? I got nothing to tell that you can't hear from anyone in town. This was the heart of Crown Resistance, but look at it now! When you lock up or murder every Crown or League supporter, you don't leave much! What are you watching for up there? Ship, Sonny! I'll let the town know when a merchant ship is coming into port! Reminds me of my seafaring days a bit, watching out from the crow's nest, but now I'm stuck with this job. How come? Cause ships are about the only thing I can see. I lost my eyepiece around here somewhere, and the spyglass here's no right alternative. What did these Restless League fellows want to know? Just if I'd seen his R, let them know if I ever did. <laughs> like I'd tell them anything after they come in here all threatening like. Seem to think she'd stolen something from them. If that's true, no wonder she's disappeared. Either they found her, or she's making sure they don't. I thought the Restless League was outlawed. How would you contact them? You'll find out soon enough. The Smuggler's Den is hooked up with the League somehow. Not directly, or it'd be out of business by now with Fat Boy on a rampage, but I'm sure they could still get in touch with the League. Where is the Smuggler's Den? Under Myco's shop, but it ain't that simple. 
No one gets in without a password. Do you know the password? Afraid not, Cyrus. What kind of reputation does the League have? Terrorists, pirates, all that. No doubt about it. They ain't to be trifled with. Fat Boy found that out himself. But then the Empire don't like to be messed with either. The League is fighting against the Imperial occupation? They were. Not openly like the Crowns, but that's never been the League's way. Blowing up Richton's flagship more in their line. Watched it burn from right here. An amazing sight. But what did it accomplish? The Empire's still here, and I haven't heard hide nor hair of the League until today. Fat boy, who do you mean? Right, you're new in town. Haven't yet been introduced to Governor Richton. So you can't see without your eyepiece? I can see the galleons and spice traders just fine with this spyglass. But other than that, I mean, I can't very well walk around town holding a telescope up to my eye. It might be kind of funny, though. I'm laughing even as we speak. Could you maybe find it for me, lad? It's a strange kind of loneliness when the beginnings of your vision's at a half a hundred yards. I'll find it for you, Prunel. Don't worry. Don't worry. Thanks, Prunel. Hey, Sonny, where do you think you're going with that? Do you think I could borrow your flag for a minute? Can't let you take it, son. Gotta have it right here or I can't do my job. Hmm. Well? Hello, my name is Cyrus. And mine is Trithic, lad. Thanks, Trithic. I've got to go. Preoccupied. Good day. Hello, shopkeeper. My name is Cyrus. Pleased to meet you, my good fellow. Garrett, your humble servant. How's business these days? If it's not pirates stealing your cargo, it's imperial taxes. I get by, though. 
All the ships heading for the Iliac Bay pass through here, so I get first crack at all their wares. As long as I can get that lazy Rolo to bring it up from the harbor. Ah! Lazy Rolo! Fat Orsene! I'd like to make a purchase. Splendid! What do you need? Thanks for the time, Garrick. Hmm. Hold up a second. Why do they always bother me? Go on, will ya? Hold up a second. No, no, and no again. Not with the likes of you. No, no, no. Hold up a second. Push off, red face. Cyrus, you made it! Come here, lad. How oh, you look good. It's been too long. If you hadn't retired... <laughs> Mercenary likes younger men's work. Bah, he said. <laughs> I prayed that you would get my letter. What is the Restless League, Captain? Where did you hear that name? They attacked the ship that gave me passage. Speak of it but in a whisper, and not too often. The governor is searching the surrounding waters for them, and will see them broken and piked if he has his way. The League has survived the death of the Crown Prince and resists his enemies still. But they are few, and going fewer from what I hear, and have been reduced to brigandry these days. Not far from the lives we led not too long ago, eh? We were never brigands when I served under you, Captain. Only mercenaries. Tell that to those on the other end of the sword, lad. You see more of yourself and the men of the Restless League than you'd care to admit, I'd wager. They're knaves with their eyes on Providence, nothing more. My sword's never been dressed for diplomacy. Give me gold for a throat, the throat for a slight, and I'm well. Give me a well-paying war. War is the continuation of politics. Arm, um, that's it, right? You quote hunting like a red guard, Tobias. Political power grows along the blade of a sword. Okay, okay. A drink to the red guard. Old are these brigands, the Restless League, to attack a ship in the very harbor. They must be running low on provisions to act so desperately. They have been ghosts of late, and this appearance is their first since I've been here. How do you know about them, then? They ran the Iliac before the war. Our lanes have crossed. But after the occupation, they've stayed relatively scarce? Yes, which is why their attack on you is so troubling. No one knew of your impending arrival? Nobody but Seraphra. Would it matter? I'm not sure. I see you still remember your childhood heroes, even if you've dismissed the homeland. Hunting is a universal wellspring. Be resolute, fear no sacrifice, and surmount every difficulty to win victory. See? 
Anyone could admire that. Tell me that your Red Guard heart didn't buckle when you saw his statue at port. Frandar Hunding is a great hero to Hammerfell, I'll admit, and even a little to myself. Hail the great founder and all that nonsense. But it's an ill plan to try and trigger the homeland tug through the invocation of Hunding, Tobias. Really? Don't forget, he left his homeland too, and never looked back. That's because it fell into the sea, you dolt. I'll be back. If you're not here... Thanks for everything. And good luck. Just find your sister and get out of here. And send word through Sratra. Go on. You'll do fine. What will it be, Traveler? <laughs>